Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how you can add inline editing facility into your custom Elementor widget. So let's get started. Now the inline editing will allow you to edit the content inline. But till now we are, you know, editing or, you know, implementing this content from this area. If you want to change the title, we need to, you know, go into the content section and change the title from this text field. But what if we want to, you know, uh, try to click on any title and try to edit it. So, how you can do that? Let's go back into the code editor. And we need to make use of this content template function. So, before that, what we need, we need the plain HTML of our widget. So, I just kept it separately. I'm just copying it from here. If you have, you can do it. And if you don't have it, because this is the area that we use our HTML, so it is already injecting with the PHP tag. So, in case if you do not have it separately, what you can do actually, uh, this is the code, but what you can do actually, you can go into, into the preview mode and let's inspect it. And from here, find your, from here, find your, you know, widget class and let's just edit as html again you can just copy it and format it and paste it in your code editor so you can do that like that also so hence you have done it you do have several things to do so let's go back into the documentation and let's search for the add inline editing here it is i have just opened it into the into the new tab so this is the documentation that we are need, we are going to follow in order to enable the inline editing facility so let's go back into the into an example that what they have shown here so what we need to do in order to enable in the editing inline editing facility for each key that we have used into our control from which the value has been added into the render function we need to use this add inline editing attributes function and then we need to define the key and actually the editing has three modes the first one is none that means you just edit it nothing else the second one is the basic so when you highlight the editing text you will have a pop-up appear there will be some kind of formatting or you can change the text and in advance you can do some more stuff so we'll see that later and then what we need we also need to add something within the tag that we are gonna edit it so the the function that is that get render attribute string and then the key and finally into the content template method we need to do some templating elementor uses backbone js so we need to do some backbone js templating here and then we will be allowed to use the inline editing facility so let's uh, do those things step by step all right so let's copy this method just and go there let's try to you know edit start editing with the title first so let's go into the render and let's comment it for inline editing and let's say this add in an editing attribute and we want for the card title and let's try with the none mode all right so the next thing is that why we have used the card title here so we need to focus on this tag so in, in the tag inside the tag we need to use this get render attribute string so what we can do can just open and close the PHP tag here. Echo this and the card title. So this is it. So that will allow you or identify the tag that we are gonna edit. The, now the next work is in the content template section. So here we just use the uh, backbone just templating 
so what we need we need to use like view dot add inline editing attribute this method so view is the default object view dot add inline editing attributes and here we what we need we need to define the key here as well so the key is card title and the mode is none all right so now the next thing is to uh, hence we have using this content template method so we also need to display this those dynamic content as backbone js or as uh, as in the js format so this is the title so what we can do here close and open three curly braces remember it and the default of the object is settings dot then your key name that will show the title but still it, it will not allow you to inline editing so let's add something here as well so let's go back and this is the thing view dot get render attribute string this is the method that we need to use within the three curly braces so so this is the three curly braces and we just need to change the title from card title all right so that is pretty it so let's check that out let's go back and hit refresh all right so now let's click on the default title all right it is doing nothing so let's check what happens let's go back into the code editor all right so i think i found the issue that we misspelled it it should be card underscore title so let's go back and let's hit a refresh now let's check that out so as you can see it is allowing us to edit from here so we can say default or just let's say another title so as you can see the code or the content is now you know allowing us to edit in line all right so let's do another one let's try with the description one and this time we will add another mode let's say basic mode or let's say advanced mode so what we can do we can duplicate this line and this is the key so we can put it here and we can say it advanced advanced so it will give us the advanced editing mode and we also need to make use of this one we can say php echo this and get render attribute string and the string name is item description all right now the next step is to duplicate this one and we need to say item description here and also for the content showing we need to do this into the three curly braces settings dot item description and let's just copy this thing from here and paste it inside the excerpt obviously we need to change the key as well all right so let's check into the backend let's update it and hit refresh now let's click on item, uh, default description nothing is happening now why is that that is because if we go back into the code editor we have added this uh, get render attribute string in where another attribute is already exists exists so in this kind of case it will this will not work so we need to do some work around with it so let's cut this function and let's add an extra div here in where we just wrap our item description and there we need to add this so 
what we need we need a fresh or a blank uh, tag actually there's nothing in it so same thing here as well so let's just cut it from here and create a div here and put it here inside the div let's just paste it here so now let's go back and hit refresh and this time let's click on the default description now as you can see it is allowing us so we can do you know the life change so because it's an advanced inline editing so if we just copy it as you can see there is some other stuff so you can do bold you can underline it and you can make italic the selected one and you can change from the tag from h1 to h2 as you can see it is impacting and you can add link so this is a kind of small tiny M mce for you so this is basically the you know the basic concept of how you can add inline editing facilities in your custom widget so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if so then please give a thumbs up and do subscribe the channel for more videos thank you